This is number 54 uh, in chapter 2. I'm going to do uh, parts A and B. This is looking at isotopes and ions and getting used to identifying how many protons and neutrons are in an element and how we represent that. And so we're looking to figure out how many protons we have and we're also trying to figure out how many neutrons we have. And so for part A we're looking at potassium and we often write these elements in this manner where we have potassium with this 40 superscript and this 19 uh, subscript. The number at the bottom is the atomic number and that is always going to be the number of protons. If you go to your periodic table in the front of your textbook and you look at where potassium is you'll see that potassium has the number 19. That's what identifies it as potassium, that number of protons. The top number as it's written is the mass of the element, in this case potassium. And when we're talking about the mass of an element, that is always going to be equal to the mass of the protons plus the mass of the neutrons. And so in terms of the periodic table, these guys are um, one atomic mass unit. And so really we just have to count up the number of protons and number of neutrons. And that's what the question is asking. So we already figured out how many protons potassium has. It has 19. Now we need to figure out how many neutrons it has. And so the number of neutrons would then be equal to the mass then minus the number of protons. And so that value, the number of neutrons, would be equal to the mass, which is 40, minus the number of protons, which is 19, to give us a value for the number of neutrons to be 21. So for this particular potassium, potassium 40, we have 19 protons, that's what identifies it as potassium, and then it has 21 neutrons, which identifies it as a particular isotope of potassium. That's part A. I'll be a little bit faster with part B. Part B looks at radium. It's the symbol RA. It has a mass of 226. It has an atomic number of 88. So again, that bottom number is always the number of protons. It's also the um, atomic number for the element and so we have 88 protons in radium and then to figure out how many neutrons we have we just need to subtract the mass of the isotope from our number of protons and we get a number of neutrons to be equal to 138.